This is the Kane Show on demand. Oh, it's so nice to be back. Uh, thank you for having the Kane Show on this morning. Rose, John, Riley, uh, hey. er- Eric's, Eric's in a good mood. By the way, he posted the best picture of him and his son uh, Max yeah. on the beach. Oh, it was so, so cute. cute. <laughs> uh, where were you at? Where, uh, where in Florida? You were on the Atlantic side, right? Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie. All right. Well, there you go. All right, well, why don't you come stop by Naples? Because I had the whole the old, family. The old people and I, we missed you. I know, but I had Rosa, I had Carlos, oh, and my sister, were two kids. And then my cousin showed up with his two kids, and it was like a lot so of people. So fun. Yes. And then we went to Universal on Thursday. Cool. But... What stunk was that they got the passes just to Universal, not to also. Oh, oh yeah, that does oh, kind of yeah. stink. So I didn't really get to go with all the superhero stuff. Oh, oh. sorry about that. You're, I know you wanted to go this see the superhero stuff. This picture is bomb, stuff. though. That is your mini. It, it is a sweet that picture. That is your mini. Mm-hmm. Pitbull says hi, by the way. Oh, yeah. thank you. Hi, Pitbull. Although I, Dale. he was staying at his house, Hello. so I couldn't stay in his house. With the two, well, with the closet too. and the closet, which why would you need that? I have no the clue. The bad landline. Cause, because you can. <laughs> that's, that's why. I remember that. He's got the worst landline ever. Mr. 305's got the worst cell phone or, or uh, landline. Mm-hmm. You would think it'd be perfect. Come on, bro. Uh, you ready for a brand new roses for your yes. um, yeah. Tuesday, April 3rd? Here we go. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When Cain calls your man, he'd better choose you. All right, Stephanie, this involves a uh, Ryan, who's your boyfriend, who's furthering his education after getting out of college and saying he never wanted to go back. I don't understand that sentence in your email. So he, he, he just graduated college and then says, I'm never going back there ever again. Yes. Like, he's always been very anti-school, and he literally just got out. Like, just got out. And already, just all of a sudden, he wants to go back for his master's. And, I mean, he told me this last summer, and, you know, he he kind of told me that he wants to go back to, you know, be a better person and, you know, heighten his career. and Be a better person. Okay. okay. <laughs> how does, right. How does... can wake up and do. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that, that or read a couple That's books. Valid. Yeah, that is, be a better person. Wake that, up. That is true. Uh, you can be a better person by um, getting a self help book. Yeah. Not anyway. right. what, what is he? What does he want his uh, master's in? Um, business management. I mean, okay. he. I mean, he told me, you know, what he wanted to go back for. So I get it. So how does this, how does supported. this pertain to cheating though? That's, that's what I don't get. Well, things haven't been adding up. They're not adding up since he's been back, and he, like he doesn't tell me his schedule. He always has these random days that he goes to class or like random locations for study groups and stuff, and they just kind of pop out of nowhere. I mean, you would think because um, the school's like accommodating for full time, you know, workers. So you know, I would imagine it would be on the same day every week or every other week. You know, Thursday, eight p.m., whatever. But oh. he just. He springs the schedules on me when, you know, on the day of, like, oh, I've got to go Wednesday to this class. I, I got study group today or whatever. And it's like, oh, well, I didn't know. I, you know, I right. could have been making plans. And so recently he's been talking about going on spring break. Okay, hold on. So spring let me back up for one, one second. One, just, just, for, uh, just for the sake of argument some of these schools that you know help out those that already have jobs and kids and families and lives do offer classes at multiple times to mm-hmm. accommodate you know the fact Even that on the weekend yeah uh so i could see that as being okay the spring break thing is a little suspicious because if you're so pressed for time Anything why are you going on spring break and i can't imagine a lot of people from a school that would be his age <laughs> hmm Mm. And on top of that, like he didn't even invite me. So. Oh well, then like a boys' trip. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it doesn't happen to be on a boat in Miami, does it? Because we been we, there we know how that one goes. Because we had that one. Well, I I don't even know. Like I don't even know what classes he takes. Like that's how much out of the loop I am. And um, takes master's classes. Duh. Am I okay? <laughs> silly question. Are you dating him? <laughs> Well, yeah, and I, and we've been together for a long time, and I honestly I don't think he would you know cheat on me. It's just I know his past, and he's been very open about how he used to be a very you know party animal, and I you know just this there's this slight like feeling in me that's a little I don't know if it's insecure or if it's like my intuition just screaming at me like hey yeah. something's wrong something's not right. All right, so stay quiet just in case nothing's going on. 
which is what I hope. Okay. And in which case, we'll hang up and we'll just pretend we got disconnected and nobody will ever speak of this again. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Right, hang on, hang on one, one, one quick second. Ah, uh, man. I do believe there's probably nothing going on. And he probably is going to get a nice raise if he goes back to college. It sounds like old school. Yo. Hi, right, calling for Ryan, please. Uh, who's this? This is uh, Adam calling for How's it going? Um, it's going great. What's going on? Hey, so we are uh, a local flower shop, and we've done some Facebook mining and saw that you checked in some restaurants in our area. And we're trying to do is we're a small mom and pop shop trying to make it, and we're just trying to do some kind of viral marketing. And I wanted to offer you um, a free dozen roses, bouquet of roses. This kind of lets you know that we're in the area, and next time you want to order flowers for somebody, to think of us. Um, so I'd like to say congratulations, obviously, and then um, I just need a, a first name and a card, and we'll be all set to go. I don't take credit cards, but just kind of let you know that we're here. Um. Is this just free? Yeah, it's all free. I mean, essentially, we're just trying to compete with the big shops, the uh, 800 stuff, um, so that when you have to order flowers, somebody down the line, you think of us first. It's kind of uh, planting the seed. <laughs> Get us a flower pun. And um, hoping you come back to us and b- bloom your relationships with us. Um, is it possible to do one that's like half romantic, half a thank you? Um, so like, is you're saying to send one bouquet that's half romantic and half thank you, or are we talking about two different bouquets? Um, you could do it as one if that's cool. If you guys can do that. Okay, so you want like like six roses in uh, six uh, thank you flowers. Uh, yeah, that works great. Okay, but this is also on one card. Yeah, one card. Okay, so I. I gotta tell you that I can't combine the cards as it'd look really stupid if I cut like the romantic card and tape it to like, the thank you card. So I'll just use a romantic card, but it just has like flowers and hearts on it. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's cool. Or what I could do, one what I could do is I could take the romantic card, tape it to the back of the thank you card, and have two notes on it. What about that? Um, that, I mean, it's, that's, you know, it's getting complicated. It's, you know, one yeah. thing, like the thank you and the romantic one on the same. So okay, fun. perfect. Okay, so on the card then. On the romantic side, uh, to whom am I writing the card to? Um, put it to Mary. To Mary? Yeah. What would you like to know what to say? I appreciate everything you do for me, and I'd like to do it back for you. And this is um, the, on the romantic side. So this is for, obviously, romantic interest. Oh, are we um, thanking? I get it. I see what you're doing. You're thanking your loved one for... Whatever they do yeah, to you. I mean, yeah, exactly. It sounds like I have a dirty mind. Don't mind me. But it sounds like uh, you're a very happy man. It's not exactly a relationship thing, but, you know, there's it's more of a business thing, but there is romance involved. Oh, yeah. Love your work, man. That's what I always say. Um, h- how do you want me to sign the card? Hey, hold, hold on. I, I, I got to jump in here for just one second. Uh, Ryan? Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, my name is Kane, uh, and that was John's voice that you heard. Uh, hey. Riley's here. Hey. Rose, uh, Eric. Uh, we have a radio show where uh, we get people who think there may be something up in their relationship that shouldn't be up, uh, and we test them by lying about flowers, and we were hoping you were going to send them to somebody else, but I-, I have to ask, based on your last comments, what do you mean... It's a business relationship, not a, well, how, I don't understand how you, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, I don't think that's any of your business, to be honest. What, what, uh, I believe it is, and I'll explain to, why. Person, and, hold on, hang on, Tiger. I'll explain why it is my business in a second, but I just need an answer to the question. And if you're having a problem with answering that question, that's even more suspicious. Do you have a girlfriend? I'm not in a relationship with this person. It's a, it's like a deal that I got going on with her. Oh. Right? It's not like a romantic thing. With with who? Mary? Yeah, with Mary. Okay. You, so you have it's a it's a business deal. The girl I'm sending these flowers to, she's not attractive or young. Oh, it's. Uh... Wait, she's not attractive or what? Young? Young. Yes. But you said there's romance involved. It's kind of like a it's like a business deal. What? How is it a you, how, is, how is it a business deal? In exchange for what, Ryan? 
This is ridiculous. In exchange for tuition money, I, you know, it's... What? Her, her and I what? go all the way, so it's not like uh, that. How, how far, far is all the way? do you go? go? You touch a movie? How far do you go? I go almost as far, but it's... I don't know why I'm explaining this to you guys. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Because oh, no. your girlfriend's on the other line, bro. Now. Stephanie's You're been explaining listening it to in. me. Yeah. yeah. So explain to me, how far do you go? What kind of transaction is this? Are you getting money in exchange for... Are you a he-ho? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I love when you say that. I am in school to better myself, and I need to find a way to pay for school. This is yeah, so scholarships, yourself? jobs, student loans. I I really don't know any other way to put this. Well, I need you to say it now, or your stuff is going on the street. Yeah, the doors can be changed within I, a matter of minutes. In don't exchange for tuition out. money, in exchange for tuition money, I I go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, there How does she have the money? Oh my god! So you're a sugar. You got a sugar mama. If that's the way you guys want to put this, I just I don't know why I'm even. Well, you know what? You, you right might now. as well ask your sugar mama if she can pay your rent because you're. <laughs> I'm done. Damn. I'm done with you. That's fine that you're throwing my. Because her husband passed away a couple years ago, and I have a place to stay. So. It oh my god! Oh, wait, 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 wait! How old? Whoa, 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 hang on. This just took a... How old is she? She's about to turn 80. What? 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 Oh! Bro, you go antiquing with her. Oh, oh my God. I was I not can't expecting that. Believe it. Finding hidden that. treasure. Oh, my God. Ew. You're an archaeologist. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's like being in a time You're machine. disgusting. Steph, if you can't get behind the fact that I just want to further my career and be a better person, then I then we can't be in a relationship anyway. So I'm sorry, I can't back you up when you're backing up a grandma. Sorry. <laughs> bye. Oh! <laughs> and, and the, all I picture is an old lady on one of those uh, Walmart things going boop boop boop. Uh, Riding up the stairs. Yeah. She's got the little oh. she's got the chair element. The Kane Show. Hear more at Kaneshow.com. Hit the subscribe button before you go because I would love to have you here. It would be an honor. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I love you and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah. Bye.